There will be a showdown on the floor of the House of Representatives tomorrow. Yes, Republican Speaker nominee Jim Jordan says he will call for a vote whether or not he has enough support to win the speakership on the first ballot. Chief political reporter Tom Hauser is in the newsroom. He's got a preview and where Minnesota Congressman Tom Emmer fits into all of this, Tom. Yeah, Paul, as House Majority Whip, Congressman Tom Emmer is the third most powerful position in Republican leadership. But the number one position is up for grabs as Congressman Jim Jordan tries to round up the 217 votes he needs to be elected Speaker. The Office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. After weeks of unpredictability and chaos in the U.S. House, the Republican brand is taking significant hits on the eve of the 2024 election year. Well, the longer this goes on, the more damage there is to the Republican brand. Uh, Republicans have real opportunities in 2024, but they have to be seen as a plausible and responsible governing party. Right now, they are not. Carleton College political analyst Stephen Shear says Congressman Jim Jordan will have to make a huge leap to win the speakership after more than 50 members of the Republican conference did not support him during an internal vote last week. He has to win the allegiance of practically all of them in order to be elected speaker. So we're still in a period of huge uncertainty right now. But throughout the day Monday, Jordan claimed to have flipped several Republicans in his direction. Feel real good about the momentum we have, and I think we're, we're real close. Republicans are hoping to avoid a 15-ballot fiasco like they had when they elected Kevin McCarthy last January. Scheer doesn't see an easy path for anyone to become speaker, but says Minnesota Congressman Tom Emmer will play a key role in either helping Jordan get elected or maybe ending up as a compromise choice himself. His job is to pursue the preferences of the caucus as majority whip, and he will continue to do that. That's also the politically smart thing to do if he ever hopes to run for speaker and get 217 votes out of the caucus. Congressman Emmer confirmed to me about an hour ago he is supporting Jim Jordan for speaker. Republican House members will begin meeting in about 10 minutes out in Washington to take one more internal vote ahead of tomorrow's scheduled floor session. Coincidentally, one month from tomorrow is also the deadline for a budget agreement to avoid a government shutdown. Kirsten. All right, Tom Hauser reporting. Thank you. Up next, an SNL alum is coming to Mystic Lake. Yes, when you can see Pete Davidson's comedy act coming up.